Okay, I got some questions about the sniper incident. I assume it's still okay to ask questions. Nothing wrong with the question. Matter of fact, more people should be asking questions. Like, number one, isn't it just a little suspicious that Trump got the luckiest wound in the world? I mean, it makes the quote-unquote wound visible so everyone can see it so they can capitalize on it, yet not so serious enough to put him even in critical condition. But just showy enough to fire up his base. Wow, what a one in a million shot. Yeah, there's nothing to question here, other than the odds. Number two, how was a supposed gunman even allowed to get past the Secret Service? I mean, really? That alone should raise a question. Number three, why did it take three minutes for a random person, assuming that they are legit, to get the Secret Service to investigate the man on the roof that they was pointing at? Number four, as Michelle pointed out, why was there no blood on Trump's hand after he touched his ear? Hmm. Number five, the supposed sniper's name was Crooks, like he was a crook. Doesn't that seem just a little bit convenient? Number six, the signs they were holding up said, quote unquote, fired. And yes, I know they said fire Biden or Biden's fired, whatever it said. Please don't even suggest that. I mean, it's just so moronic. Don't even put that in front of me. You have to think that they put things in place for a reason, to be subtle, to, to put uh, the truth in plain sight, if you will. So isn't that just a little bit convenient, maybe a little questionable? Number seven, the supposed sniper was a Republican. Does that even make sense to you? Isn't that just a little odd? When you heard that the first time, think back. Weren't you like, huh? Huh? A Republican? Huh? Just saying, sometimes your first instinct is on the right track. Number eight. There is a ton of predictive programming from people like Snoop Dogg and other entertainers about this type of act happening to the president. So, do you really think that was just a coincidence or even just a little bit questionable all that predictive programming saying this would happen and it happened you know number nine the card from the illuminati card game predicted this about 30 years ago 30 years ago do you really think that is just lucky just a lucky lucky prediction number 10 as kip pointed out why is the crowd so carefree after this Number 11, why did Trump tell the Secret Service to wait for a minute while he took a photo op before they continued to rescue him? Surely if his life was still in danger, they wouldn't stop to take a, a photograph. Does that even make sense? These are just a few questions that people need to be asking. That's all I'm saying. Ask some questions.